welcome back to the um, uh, certified Jenkins engineer 2020 certification catalyst series this is question 2 okay the new CTO in your company boasts that in his earlier company they used to follow the practice of maintaining code in such a way that it could be put into production at any time this would enable them to deploy code as soon as somebody requests it in DevOps lingo what is this as referred to so option A so basically what they're saying is that the code is ready made for deployment you are not yet deploying it but it's ready so you can deploy it into production at any time that is needed so the options are a continuous integration b it is not possible at all c continuous deployment d continuous delivery e this is the basic essence of devops it happens by default in every organization there is no label to it as such okay so before coming back to this let me go to this okay so this is a discussion okay on stackify regarding the difference between continuous delivery deployment and integration so this is a very very nice blog so if you see here okay so they are saying that what is continuous delivery continuous delivery is uh, basically the aim is to keep the code at a deployable state at any given time this means does not mean that the code or project is 100% complete but the feature sets that are available are vetted tested debugged and is ready to deploy although you may not deploy it at the moment so it's very important so the code is in a deployable state it is ready to be deployed but it is for example not being deployed at that very moment now if you come to continuous deployment so this is continuous delivery now if you go to continuous deployment it is a step further from continuous delivery where every change that is made is automatically deployed to production so in continuous delivery your code was always in a state which was ready to be deployed but it was not yet being deployed automatically but in continuous deployment your ready-made code is also getting deployed automatically to production okay so this is second now continuous integration it is the concept of merging all the code from all developers to one central branch of the repo many times a day to avoid conflicts in the code in the future so the concept here is to have multiple devs on a project to keep the main branch of the repo to the most current form of the source code so that each dev can check out a pull from the latest code to avoid conflict so basically we are talking about three things here one is continuous integration and there is continuous delivery and another is continuous deployment now first if you will think that whether this kind of question is relevant yes you will get a question i got a question not this one i got a question continuous integration but there will be a question i'm quite sure on this concepts okay so either continuous integration or continuous delivery or continuous deployment so it's very important to understand the concept so if i break it down so continuous integration is the first step then i will go to continuous delivery and finally to continuous deployment so for example i have a source code right and there are many developers who are working on that source code at any point of time so i want to have a build process where i will be able to basically build the code meaning my uh, checks are passing and for example every single developer is checking into the code multiple times and this is the con concept of continuous integration okay so for example uh, every time my uh, code is being checked in okay my build process is running my tests are running and i know my my builds are in a good state in a healthy state okay they are not failing and stuff like that and doing this multiple times in a continuous fashion this is continuous integration now if i go a step further from continuous integration where i am packaging my code my build artifacts and all of this for example my dls jars and i'm keeping them in a state that it is ready to be deployed but i am not deploying it automatically so for example i have my build pipeline which produces an artifact okay it's ready for deployment but then i have a manual process and only then for example there is some sort of an approval okay and then i go to deploy so for example my check-in is happening say for example 1000 times per day so my continuous integration and continuous delivery pipelines are running and creating the artifact maybe 1000 times per day okay but they're not deploying to the production directly maybe they are deploying only twice a day okay this is one thing now if i go one step further then you go to continuous deployment so in continuous deployment your code is also getting deployed to production maybe 1000 times per day okay so continuous integration to continuous delivery to continuous deployment so continuous deployment is the last stage where continuously you are deploying to production so it's very difficult to do also there are a lot of challenges like blue green anyways 
but this is the concept so if you see here they are saying that the code is always ready to be deployed okay you can deploy the code as soon as somebody requests it so this is not talking about continuous integration no continuous integration is not about uh, keeping code in a deployed state it is more about integrating everybody's changes and keeping your code base up to date rather than your binaries okay this is not possible at all no it's possible continuous deployment no continuous deployment is a step further where you are actually deploying the code automatically no request nothing it's basically a step further from continuous delivery so we have not yet so that the, this uh, statement is not yet referring to that then you come to continuous delivery which is the answer as we right now know and e this is the basic essence of devops and happens by default in every organization there is no label to it such no obviously it's a very basic essence of devops but it's not that it happens in every organization by default you have to work towards this kind of a setup so the correct answer in this case is continuous delivery and uh, so basically the continuous delivery is the act of having a continuous integration pipeline obviously all of your codes are built in every day your code is in a good state your builds are in a good state and your packaging pipeline is basically art building the artifacts which are ready to be deployed okay so you can deploy them at any point of time uh, so this is continuous deployment so please please uh, focus on this part of the um, uh, document you will find uh, basically this kind this in the cloud bit jenkins university tutorials so from the first the first one which is the jenkins fundamentals you are going to find details about this quest this kind of things okay so this is very much part of your curriculum for this exam okay so please know continuous integration continuous delivery and continuous deployment okay so this is relatively easy but still i know them and thank you uh, please share your feedbacks in the comment section